we have is a power feed coming up from the basement to the switch. From the switch we have a load wire going out to the fixture and now I'm going to disconnect the switch. What we have is a metal box from the switch we took out. Is that right here? That's the one. And we're going to expand this for the new control for the fan. So we need to trace the new metal box on the wall and we'll cut into it. Old plaster crumbles very easily so what I'm going to do is just chip away at the lines and then you can cut with the saw. I've unscrewed the side of the old box and now I'm going to take the side off and you can do the same with the new box. Great. We're up here in the attic now to run the wire from the switch location to the fan. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken up the floorboard, I've located the wire from the switch to the existing light. So this tells us that we are right on top of that existing switch. Correct. I'm going to drill a new hole right next to that and then run this wire down the wall. Now we'll take the snake and pull the wire down. All right, Wanda, now that we have the wire down from the attic, you can cut it off from the snake okay, right, right there at the end. Great. What I'm going to do is take eight inches of sheathing off and slide this into the new box. And right, now we have the wire in. We're going to secure it with this clamp. We're going to take this bare wire and wrap it around the green grounding screw and tighten that to the box. Okay, now we slide the new box into the wall next to the old box and screw them together. Okay, the way you're going to control your new fan is with a timer. This timer has 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and 60 minutes. You want to run the fan longer than you're actually in the shower to get the moisture out of the bathroom completely. Your switch has four wires. I've already wired them up. You have a black wire which is taking the feed that came up from the basement and we've pigtailed that off so that the existing switch that was in the bathroom before for the light will still have power. We have a white wire which is connecting to the common neutral in the back of the box and you have the green wire which is connecting to the ground wire we connected earlier to the box and a red wire which is going to your fan. I'll gently fold the wires back into the box and attach the switch to the wall. And where does this guy go? Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we have this wall right here that we know we've already drilled down. Yeah, that's where our switch is. That's where our switches are. And the shower is directly on the other side. We don't want it directly in the shower. We want it more centered in the bathroom. So how about right here between these two joists in this bay? Does that work for you? That looks great. We're actually going to tap a series of holes along the joist to tell us where to cut it from down below. Here are our holes, which mark the joist. We're going to hold the fan up and draw the rest of the cut. We slide this in place and we'll screw it to the ceiling. And we're screwing right into the joist. Up here in the attic, we have the Romex we ran earlier from our switch. We're going to put the Romex connector on, pinch it down, and just screw it in place. The clamp is held in place with a lock nut, which is threaded onto the bottom of the clamp. These connections are made with wire nuts. That keeps a nice tight connection and mechanically and electrically sound. All we do is the white to white and the black to black. That'll bring our power up and our return down with the neutral. And the final thing is we'll put the cover plate on. Cover plate coming in. Now we have to exhaust the fan. We attached a 90 degree elbow and some flexi duct. And then the flexi duct will run outside the building. Correct. I also like to wrap the connections with duct tape. This keeps the air from escaping. Blue duct tape? The blue duct tape is rated for cold weather. Whenever possible, I like to go out a side wall rather than through the roof. And I'm ready to drill.
Now we're going to apply silicone to the outside of the vent to keep it watertight against the building. Now we slide the vent in place and screw it to the house. Now we put this grill in place to keep any animals from getting inside the house. All right, now I'm just going to make our final connections up here, connecting our exhaust hose to the outside. And wonder if you can put the insulation back around the fan so we keep the warm air in the bathroom. Now that I've put the power back on in the bathroom, I can install this decorative trim on the fan. And wonder if you want to turn it on. Check this out. Wow, it's so quiet. All right.